Stop spending too much time making chapati. Let me show you four ingredients to ease the process. Keep watching ahead. Hello beautiful people, how is it going? It's your girl Claudie and today we are going to make an East African chapati. It is so soft and layered. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and trust me, any recipe I drop here, you are going to love it. And to my returning subscribers, thank you a million times. You guys are amazing. So to jump right into our ingredients, these are the ingredients we will be needing for today. I have some oil and have some salt and some water and old purple flour i will start by mixing the flour and salt and mix that until it is perfectly combined then the next we're going to add in is some water the water here is warm to touch okay so guys please check the description box because i will be dropping the link to my website where you have um the ingredients a printable um recipe and also i will drop the recipe for you guys also in the description box but if you want the main process with pictures and everything i will be dropping the link for you guys on the website so go ahead and mix that perfectly until you have well combined dough so for the oil we are not going to be adding the oil now when we have mixed our dough and it is well combined then we will add one tablespoon of our oil so this is the consistency you want after mixing you want it to be slightly sticky this is what is going to make it really soft after cooking right now what i will do i'll just go ahead and add in one tablespoon of that cooking oil and we'll mix appropriately cooking with Claudie. Cooking with Claudie, easy, simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with I'll just cover this and let it rest for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, you're going to see that your dough is going to be really, really stretchy. So we're just going to take a look. I'm just going to pinch that up so you see what I'm talking about. See that? That is how you want your dough to look like. So right now, just watch closely how I will be making the chapati. So at this point, if you do not want to have your chapati to have layers, you can just go ahead, flatten that and and cook right away but if you want yours to have those beautiful layers keep watching ahead for the important steps cooking with Claudie cooking with Claudie easy simple recipe ah, cooking with Claudie Cooking with Claudie, easy, simple recipe. Ah, African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipe. Pastries and bakes. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipe. Pastries and bakes. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy. Ego yummy yummy Easy to follow from kids to adults Ego yummy yummy Ego yummy yummy Cooking with Claudie Cooking with Claudie Easy simple recipe ah, Cooking with Claudie Cooking with Claudie Easy simple recipe so let's go ahead and pan fry this in a hot 
hand so guys your heat is not supposed to be too low or too hard you want your heat to be on a medium you don't need oil like inside the pan but you have to be applying oil from time to time on the chapati on both sides okay that makes it soft and it's not going to dry off really fast so let that cook for about three minutes and you're going to flip way half way through okay you are not cooking each side for three minutes no it's going to overcook and your flatbread is going to be too hard okay so three minutes let me say 1.5 minutes on each side so this is how it's looking you see those beautiful layers already formed on there another tip i will tell you guys is keep adding oil on it from time to time and after when it has been cooked what i usually do i put it in I put it in a bowl and cover with a towel before I finish making the others. So this is how it's looking. It is so soft, guys. If you have never tried chapati, you should go in for it. It is so, so good. And thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to check out my website. It has a detailed recipe on there. And so meet again in my next video. Bye for now and stay safe.